What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Hey, um, you know, I just developed a hypothesis recently. And it was based off of a conversation I had on Twitter with this guy. Not a conversation, it's sort of like a back and forth. And um, it brought me to a new hypothesis, and I'd, I'd like to present it to you guys. Maybe you could drop something in the comment section. Comment section. Let me know if you, you know, you think it holds water. I think it does. So anyway, it is my humble opinion that most white knights online, most men who white knight and, uh, you know, come at men for being predatory and this, that, the other, and all these, you know, believe women guys. You, you see these guys online, believe women, you know, and they got the, you know, the shirts on and the hashtag me too, and they're like supporting women and they're out there, oh, believe women, yada, yada. It's not just believe women, but it's just those guys out there who are consistently talking about predatory men in regards to women. And my hypothesis is as follows. These men do not credit women with free sexual agency because they themselves have never once in their life experienced how much power and force is behind a woman who truly authentically desires you as a man. Let me repeat that in a different way. Guys will say men are preying on women in relationships which are consensual because they themselves have never experienced a woman truly desiring and wanting them with sexual urgency. They've never experienced this in the life. Now, let me tell you about the situation that made me come to this conclusion. There's this guy, he's a brother, brother in Islam, and he's talking about like predatory men in the Islamic community. And they're going around sleeping with various sisters within one community. And uh, he's promising to marry them and then he doesn't marry them. And I took exception to this, not, because of what he's doing, you know, and I'm trying to defend what he's doing. No, but I was just like, why are you always saying it's the brothers? You know, they always act like if women are like these innocent, you know, uh, uh, objects, which have no agency in their actions whatsoever, as if they would never have sex unless some low down, dirty guy convinced them to come along and, you know, uh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it, you know, or whatever else. Like, or it's like, he's walking around like you spread your legs. And then they just, okay, I don't have a choice. It doesn't work like that? No. No, we know it doesn't work like that. No, rather it works that some guy comes along, and it is problematic. He's got good game, and a woman lacking, you know, uh, some degree of moral character, a deficiency in it somewhere. She falls for the game and the trap. And then sexual urgency kicks in. And in order to secure the deal with the guy, she has sex with them. Because women, as we know, are sexual gatekeepers. You know, Men only have sex with women who allow them. Anything else is rape. I established with the men that we're not talking about rape. So we're talking about two people in a consensual act here. Now, obviously, this guy's going around one community and he's banging multiple women, which means that multiple women are talking about him. He must be good at his craft because women talk. You know, they can't keep a secret. You want something to be 11 o'clock news? Tell a woman. And that brought me to the conclusion, looking at the guy's picture. And I'm not trying to insult the guy, you know, he's as his Lord created him, you know, but the simple fact of the matter is it's obvious by looking at him that he's never had a woman truly, honestly, with, with authenticity and urgency, desire to bang him. And so he has no concept or idea of female sexuality and how it works. He's just like predatory brothers, those guys. Because he can't imagine in his mind where he's made the apotheosis of women. And to use those of you who don't know what apotheosis is, he, we're talking about like, you know, making women these angelic creatures that don't have sexual desires. He's never experienced this because he's never been in that position in his life. So he has no idea that the power of female sexual urgency and competition anxiety and the levels that women will go to establish in a relationship with a man. I've seen women who you'd never expect them to go out and, you know, do dirt with, you know, do dirt with somebody, go out and do dirt with somebody just to try and make sure that she was one of the women or the woman that he picked out of the multiple women that he was trying to establish a relationship with. I've seen this firsthand. This isn't like some third party story that I've heard from, you know, several chains down the line. These are people I know personally. I've seen it. I've seen women throw themselves at me, at me, more than one woman. This is, it's actually, it's like to the point, it's like if I started telling guys the stories that I deal with in terms of Muslims, they'd be like, yo, what? Yeah. I mean, we're talking some pretty serious stuff here. You know, it's not just one sister, it's like multiple. So it's like, 
this is a man who's talking about you know female sexual agency as if it doesn't exist as if i don't know guys can come along and just be like open your legs and they're just like they lose control somehow or something and they just like you know they get banged on so anyway when we look at all these guys out there with these like i said you know believe women shirts and hashtag me too shirts and all these guys you know out here championing and white knighting for women about predatory men understand what you're dealing with you're dealing with a guy who has no idea what it's like to be desired authentically with urgency by a woman he has no clue what it's like and that's why he's talking about female sexual agency as if it doesn't exist. He doesn't view women as sexual beings because no woman has ever truly been sexual with him. And that is not to say that he hasn't had sex. But a woman who truly, honestly wants him with a, a with a, 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 just this urgency. As we talk about sexual urgency, and a strong sense of uh, competition anxiety. He has no experience with this. If he did, he wouldn't be talking about predatory brothers. Because when it comes down to women, we understand those men who have experienced this, and I've experienced this several times throughout my life, more than a several times, a lot of times in my life, you come to find that women can be exceptionally predatory in trying to establish a relationship with you while wrecking one that you're in. They will go to extreme limits. They will do things. Yeah, well, anyway, they'll do things. We know this, guys. So anyway, that's just my hypothesis. If you see a guy, the hypothesis basically is, if you see a guy online talking about predatory men of any sort uh, in regards to a situation where there is no predation in play, a.k.a. two people fornicating in the Islamic community or two people having sex and then, you know, this, that, the other, and they're saying this guy's taking advantage of women or whatever else, then that's a guy who doesn't understand female sexual agency because he's never experienced it. Let me know what you think. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Abu American. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm out.